Bitcoin is the most powerful, most decentralized, uh, most unhackable, uh, and most uh, powerful force for democratization in the planet. This is Francis Suarez, the mayor of Miami, also known as the Bitcoin mayor. Suarez has been on a mission to transform Miami into a global crypto hub. He proposed a plan that will allow residents to pay taxes and receive salaries in Bitcoin. Last year, he became the first US lawmaker to accept crypto as part of his salary. I huddle it. Maybe one day I'll give it to my children and, and, and they'll use it or they'll be able to buy a home with it or who knows. In this video, Suarez explains why Bitcoin has all the chances to become a truly global currency. Hello everyone, I have an honor and a pleasure and I don't know what actually is more for me today to have the Mayor Francis Suarez. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, how do you feel here, the difference between maybe Bitcoin Miami and the WEF? What is the reception toward crypto and blockchain here? Well, Bitcoin Miami is all about Bitcoin and obviously um, it's the sort of central um, point at which people celebrate this uh, generational technology. I think here at the you know World Economic Forum, um, you know it's more of an evangelist uh, role that I play, right? Where I'm teaching people and trying to evangelize why this is technology that is generational and going to impact hopefully positively the lives of many, many, many people. So it's a bit of a different role, um, you know. In Bitcoin Miami, I'm hometown, you know, it's home turf. Uh, here, it's like playing an away game. Awesome, thank you so much. So what is your main goal? Do you want everyone to use uh, Bitcoin and crypto in the US and then uh, become a global currency? Uh, or do you have other ideas, ideal ideas that you would like to promote to the world? I think Bitcoin as a global currency is very realistic and very possible. Uh, and it could have a tremendous democratizing opportunity and also an opportunity to disrupt uh, you know, socialist regimes because you can't control the currency. Um, and it can be it can be interchanged peer to peer, um, and then and then it will have a stable global trading market. So I think th that's what makes Bitcoin revolutionary. That and the fact that it's uh, not human controlled uh, in terms of the algorithm, so that you don't have things like uh, hyperinflation. Uh, you know, the inflationary quotient of Bitcoin is known in the halving schedule, so we know exactly what to expect, and I think that creates trust, which is what um, currency systems should be based on. You have started receiving your salary in Bitcoin uh, last November. So what do you do with your Bitcoin? Do you hodl it? Uh? I hodl it. Um, I, I think it's something that um, is going to, I personally believe it's going to gain value over time. But frankly, I don't do it about for that reason. You know, I think, I believe in the technology. I think it will gain value, but I don't do it strictly as an investment. It's not like I'm going to oh, try to gain a certain amount and then sell it. Uh, I'm holding it because I believe in the technology. Uh, and I think that maybe one day I'll give it to my children and, and, and they'll use it or they'll be able to buy a home with it or who knows. Um, but it, it's technology that I fundamentally believe in. I can allocate that amount of resources in my life to that investment um, and I'm comfortable with it. Do you initiate to crypto your relatives and friends? Yeah, I think, you know, I think all my friends and relatives come to me constantly for questions because I'm kind of known as the Bitcoin mayor, the crypto mayor of the, of the world. So they kind of come to me with uh, questions about should I invest in this, should I do this and and so it, it certainly makes for interesting family conversations. So is it more crypto mayor or Bitcoin mayor? Are you Bitcoin maximalist or not? Oh yes, I mean I'm, I'm certainly, I, I believe that Bitcoin is the most powerful, most decentralized, uh, most unhackable uh, and most uh, powerful force for democratization in the planet um, and, 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 and that's that's what it is. I mean and I think that's uh, what it's proven to be, right? It's been a 10 year plus uh, journey for Bitcoin and I think uh, uh, nothing that I've seen has proven otherwise. Today at Davos, CEO of Mastercard said that uh, in his opinion Swift will be dead in five years. What else would, do you think will be dead soon? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I, I don't disagree with him on that. You know, I, I think Mastercard is one of the um, payment processing uh, companies that is really going in on uh, on things like Bitcoin and crypto, uh, and I think that's necessary because one of the missing pieces in in the utility piece is that processing piece, and so you know exchanges have sort of played that role, uh, but I think you, you when you have someone that can process a number of transactions that Mastercard can process in a second, um, you have a and, and by the way then the infrastructure is already there, so you don't need to 
reinvent the wheel, if you, if you will. So I, I think the fact that someone like that is so into, and we're doing a ton of partnerships with MasterCard, by the way. Um, I think the fact that a company like MasterCard is leaning in is hugely important. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy Davos.